This paper is looking at how to estimate um, measures of poverty and inequality from microdata. And uh, the issue is with any form of microdata is that you're going to encounter different sources of survey error. And these um, are summarized in this table here. So what I do is separate the kind of forms of survey error that researchers will observe in public use data. And that's measurement error, processing error, and non-response error which is distinct to the survey organization, which uh, deals with these other sources of error and then releases the data. So as researchers then, who are interested in measuring poverty and inequality, we see a public use data set and we suspect forms of error that are generally going to be these three. Now, in 2015, the UN has to measure whether the first millennium development goal, which is reducing poverty or absolute poverty um, by 50% between 1990 and 2015, um, whether that's actually been achieved. So what my objective was, uh, th this is the fourth paper which has come after my PhD thesis. Uh, these three papers are the PhD thesis, which elaborates on this as using this as a framework for investigating microdata quality, then establishing whether with these different sources of error you have bias, which is ignorable or not. And then lastly, conducting multiple imputation when you have um, forms of non-response and coarse response. Um, what I then do is I combine editing with imputation. So when you combine editing with imputation, you have to have rules for editing and rules for uh, multiple imputation. And your imputation rules cannot uh, violate your editing rules. So what this means is when dealing with outliers, which I identify in this paper, um, I combine all of these aspects, I use multiple imputation, and then I use a reweighting method to deal with uh, the last uh, of these, which is outliers. And I do one of two things. I um, report the statistics when uh, the outliers, um, once they're identified, are adjusted by, adjusted by reweighting the outliers down to one, and when they're basically um, left in the data to look at the sensitivity of the estimates to that. But in so doing, what I have done is combined solution methods, which are discussed here, for all three sources of error. So in the end, what uh, we find is that poverty and inequality measures can differ by as much as 30%. So these are data sets from South Africa from the mid-90s through to early 2003. The methodology in these four papers is generalizable to any household survey anywhere in the world. Um, the thing that I've done here is applied it to the um, sample of economically active employed individuals that's self-employed and just um, employees. So it's going to be, because I'm taking such a narrow sample, it's going to be the smallest form or the smallest level in which outliers are going to exert this big influence. If we were looking at, um, for example, all different sources of income, we may find that certain forms of error dominate um, the final survey statistic. So the methodology then is generalizable in any sense, whether you're looking at the full population of a country or subsets of that. And um, basically, uh, the treatment method, which is using multiple imputation with an editing rule, um, is the one that you would need to read the paper for to fully uh, criticize. And feedback is welcome at this email address.